A vacuum cleaner is moved from the ground floor to the second floor of an apartment building. We'll assume it starts at rest and ends at rest, so the change in kinetic energy will be zero. So the only energy increase will be gravitational potential energy as it moves higher in the building. In which of the following cases is the most work done by the person moving the vacuum? Well, let's rewrite the work energy equation just like this. Work is equal to final energy minus initial energy. As we just said, the only difference here will be the gravitational potential energy. And it doesn't care how you got there. So I think you can see where we're leading with this. If you push it up an incline, you, you, will, you will use a different force than if you just pulled it up without the incline. However, you still wind up at the same place. If you carry it up in your arms, that's interesting. You're still ending in the same place. If you go all the way to the third floor, that's where you're doing positive work the whole way. But then when you come down to the second floor, you're doing negative work. So that third floor trip gets canceled out. So since the final energy is the same as the initial, the work done is the same in each one of these cases. The answer is D.